You know that moment when, like, a firework, like, shoots up into the sky and, like, explodes? Or, like, maybe you light a firework and it, like, explodes before it goes upward. Hi, Sages, and welcome to your November 2019 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to talk about you as you are a firework this month. You are um, in your last full month of Jupiter in your sign. Um, I hope you're ready for some dazzling display of what that means and what that is about. Um, is it as bright as you expected it to be? Have you come as far as you expected you would be? Some of us have, some of us haven't, um, because Jupiter in Sagittarius was um, not really what we expected it to be this time around on account of some of the other transits. It took more of a uh, interior approach this time, and this will depend on how it was in your chart. And I may make a video specifically about finishing Jupiter in Sagittarius, but um, for most of us, Jupiter in Sagittarius became a mindset and became a way of um, looking at the world around. And then for others of us, of course, it did kind of scatter candy and give a lot of gifts and rewards into our life uh, physically, but uh, mostly this has been interior and mostly um, this time in November 2019, your time of the year as we move later into your time of the year, Sages, um, you have to give to yourself. You might have to acquire, you might have to give back, you might have to make an investment, or you might have to um, show yourself that you can give to yourself, okay? That might be what this period of time is for you, is the time where you show yourself what you can give to yourself, okay? Um, not taking any more from yourself, not depriving yourself, not um, lacking, but also um, watching out for this working in a roundabout way. So yes, we could maybe give ourselves the new house or the new car, um, give ourselves the really flashy, luxurious thing while taking from our future immensely, all right? So this might be a time where we can really um, find out how to give ourselves a solid present gift present, you know, current moment present, um, without taking from our future and without making ourselves feel that our present is deprived. That central theme or that moment of understanding is the magic zone for Sagittarius in this month. Without further ado, Sagittarius, I'm going to cut your cards and get into the tarot messages for your month ahead. Okay. That feels really beautiful. Okay, last month of Jupiter and Sagittarius for Sages. All right, last full month. Um, week number one, Sages, three of wands. Love it. Rooted down by Knight of Swords reversed. Okay, so three of wands has been coming up for other signs this month too. It just came up for Libra um, earlier today. And um, I was talking to Libras about how uh, it can go either way with that card. Um, it can um, be, yes, it can be a new horizon. It can be looking towards uh, the new, turning your back on the old, um, accepting limitations in a way that you have a path carved in front of you that really, really works. Um, I also have a different um, idea of what Three of Swords is and a lot of readers, and that is uh, maybe from the perspective of the camera in the card. So perhaps we are looking to someone whose back is turned on us. Perhaps we are devoting all of our attention to something that will never give back to us. Perhaps we have a bit of a skewed idea of what our new horizon is. Um, however, it is not reversed, it is upright, so it is very easy for you to channel this energy in a way that is a new horizon, in a way that is abundant and giving. So I just really want you to affirm that to yourself. Make sure that you're not looking to anyone's turned back. Make sure you're not investing all that you have into something that is turning its back on you or something that is not um, giving back to you, all right? That's rooted down by Knight of Swords Reverse. So this says to me that you do have to exercise... Um, a strategic pace with this um, energy in the first week. So you might get a great new idea. You might have great new intellectual property. Note that down. Write down all of your ideas. What a great time in November for Sagittarius to write down every single good idea that they have so that they don't forget. Because yes, this Jupiter in Sagittarius became much more internal as it squared Neptune in Pisces, as we had Saturn in the most mundane, security-oriented, safe-playing sign it goes through. This Jupiter in Sagittarius was never about exploding big or making some kind of huge leap of, like, glamorous faith into some kind of unknown territory. Um, but it was about seeing what that looked like within. So note all of that down. For those of you who are 
author authors or creative business owners or um, marketers of some kind some type this is such an important time to write down and journal the good ideas that you have because they can make you so much for the next 12 years to come um, you know you're not losing all of this once Jupiter leaves unless you don't make it solid or real now in some way it doesn't mean that you have to spend every money every uh, amount of money that you have on your on something ridiculous to make it all work out right now but you do need to write down those ideas um, Knight of Swords is uh, is about the pace that we do things at, and it's reversed. So yeah, we will, if we're moving at a breakneck pace, it's easy to um, have a fall or have a clumsiness. So Jupiter and Sag is a clumsy energy. We don't want to be too impulsive. So watch out for that impulse in the first week. Stillness. Stillness within the new strategy, within the new path is important still yet. Week number two, Sag is the chariot reversed, rooted down by... Nine of Cups. Okay. Um, I don't mind this. So again, there's an echoing. So Knight of Swords and the Chariot are a similar energy in the sense that there's like that really good direct progress, you know, moving quickly on a linear path. Um, the path is not linear for you guys this month. Okay, this is an important message. This is a spiral. This is kind of a um, very open... Thing. And this is something that Sagittarius has been going through, where maybe the experiences have been a bit agoraphobic. Maybe the experiences have felt too big, too open, too vast. Um, with Neptune squaring you, the vastness that Jupiter and Sagittarius gives can become something daunting. So yeah, you have to kind of move through your life without a super distinct path, while really noting the good ideas that come along. Because um, what you start to see in the second week is a path might start to form. There might really start to be, you know, a gateway or a sense of structure within the path. Um, as you might start to capitalize on um, the oncoming Capricorn energy that arrives. Because to me, Nine of Cups is always a gatekeeper energy. So you see a new option, a new path in front of you. But there's something that's still blocking it, maybe. Maybe you need to know the password. Maybe you need the key. Um, this is the archetype of Nine of Cups for me, and it does also suggest good luck. It suggests that, um, you know, you will be uh, more prosperous if you choose this path, but you need to be ready for it. You need to have the key. You need to have the password. Um, so, yes, if you were watching this in late October, I would say really start to meditate on, um, you know, what you need to get into this next uh, chapter of your life what all is needed, how much money is needed, how much time is needed, how much um, rest is needed for all of this. Try to strategize that and really meditate with what that would look like so that you're prepared. Because Sagittarius being prepared in the second week and moving forward is a really, really empowered, a uh, strong, strong energy. Okay, so you've got to um, also realize that just moving head first headlong into it is not going to be great here. This is strategic mapped out movement. So we are finding the solution to that uh, sort of lost, vast, open scarcity that you were dealing with before. That is solving itself here. And we want to be ready for that. Okay. Week number three, Sages. Ace of Pentacles rooted down by death. Okay. We get heavy. So this is right at the cusp. You know, this is, we're about to move into Sag time. And, um, do not underestimate the power of the sun being in your sign and Jupiter being in your sign. And of course, we'll eventually um, get Mercury and Venus, and uh, those two will eventually come as well. Uh, so this is where you see what this has been about. This is where you see the truth. This is where you see, you know, maybe even some candy as well. This could be some benefic blessing, some benevolence coming in for you. Um, but yeah, those things don't come without first having let go of something. So you could suddenly get a lot of money here. You could suddenly um, see that poverty consciousness or an experience of poverty falls away and is replaced by a new path that is much more, um, much more profitable, whether that be time, money, or energy. I think there does have to be an evolution of your money outlook 
for your your pentacle outlook so the pentacles are not just money but they are also time energy and anything that we spend in life you know you can spend time you can spend money you can spend energy these are all of our reserves and this is what the pentacle suit represents so there is a, a uh, evolution an evolution of what that system is like for you the whole system of spending investing receiving profiting um, all of those things are going to get a bit of a new shine. Um, so yes, it might be interesting to think about how you could really invest in yourself. Especially once Mercury goes direct, which is during this week, actually, that is on November 20th. Although I believe it will be in shadow until somewhere around December 12th. I don't remember the exact date off the top of my head here. Um, but yes, it is direct on the 20th of November. So I wouldn't recommend, you know, making any super huge investments or any super huge changes while Mercury is retrograde in Scorpio. But once it goes direct here, you can really start to put these plans into action. You can really start to um, get better, okay? Have more. You know, you've needed something. You've needed the new this, the new that. As long as it's not too frivolous and over the top, because we do have to have pragmatism. You know, this isn't a time to... Um, scrape by on something that is worn out and doesn't work anymore because we're being frugal but it is also not the time to buy something extremely luxurious and unnecessary okay saturn and capricorn jupiter and sagittarius they are like polar opposites so we have to meet in the middle in a pragmatic middle of something that works unquestionably good so that we can be productive um, and do what we need to do in our life but at the same time happy enough to also have other options that sweet middle ground is your power card for this month, really. So as you move into the third week, really just affirm that you're ready for any transformation as it relates to that which you spend in your life. Week number four, six of pentacles. Okay, so we've moved into money territory, uh, rooted down by five of pentacles. We can't overspend, Sag. Okay, watch out for spending impulse during this time. It has to be mapped out here and before. Okay, so I'm not taking back anything that I said, but if you, there's something that you want to buy and you've not wanted to buy it before this time, wait until next month to do it. No impulses, no impulse buying. This is your birthday as well. So some of you could go a bit crazy with your birthday. Watch out for that. Um... Maybe giving yourself security for your birthday because the presents will come. The gifts will come from the universe, from other people. You don't need to go huge for your own birthday, but at the same time, give yourself something. But again, not maybe good to use 75% um, of your savings account to buy the the new shiny sparkly thing or the handbag or the shoes or the, the this or the that because it's... It's good if you can afford it, but um, it's easy to get into Five of Pentacles. And maybe this has nothing to do with money for you. Maybe you feel disconnected from the people in your life. Maybe you feel like um, people have been putting you into a sense of coldness or people are being very cold to you. You might also feel indebted to somebody. You might feel like you can't give somebody what they need. Um, that has to be looked at here because we have the death card. We have the perfect opportunity this month to... Um, solve this, okay, to get past this cycle of indebtedness. Because, Sagittarius, I'm not going to lie to you, um, the next three or four years can be all about this if you waste or squander everything here. Know your needs, okay? Know your needs. Follow through on your needs. Don't trick yourself with what your needs are, too, okay? Lots of middle ground. You are lucky here. Don't forget that, you know? Um, this isn't a matter of you being like victimized by the universe. So you're not just going to find yourself, oh my God, suddenly I'm broke or suddenly I'm like homeless or suddenly something horrible is happening. Not at all. That would be, you would have to really be there for every moment of that. You would know it was coming. You, you would make the choice yourself. Um, you are lucky and that luck will save you. But also sometimes when you're so lucky, you can get a gambler's mentality. So watch out for the gambler's mentality with Jupiter finishing up in your sign. No gambling. No, um, no risky investments, nothing like that here. Because mm -mm. Saturn in Capricorn is the problem. If we had Saturn in like an air sign or perhaps a fire sign during Jupiter and Sag, um, this, you could have a bit more of a gambler's mentality and maybe see a better result. Um, but yeah, not a good time to risk everything here. Okay. Um, otherwise, Sag for November, uh, just remember that this is the time where the best ideas come. 
and you're shining brightly, you're beautiful, your appearance is going to be nice here. If you're single, you might attract in a really, really great soulmate type of person. You might have some really good root chakra healing opportunities in this month, and you're going to have an opportunity to step onto a new path as well, to try new things, to get your sea legs in a new avenue. So that is the high point of this month. You just have to watch out for a gambling or um, spending things that you've worked really hard to achieve or spending from your future, okay? Just watch out for that. Those are the two things for this month. If you guys want to see your central theme, um, sort of understand what everything is revolving around, what everything is coming back to and um, culminating in, as well as two power cards, the archetypes that you can use to move through this time with more progress and more capability and feel stronger, more powerful, y'all can jump over to my Patreon page to see this extended reading. That should be popping up in the center of your screen in a moment, and it will also be linked in the description box below if you guys would like to continue this reading. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. Your subscribes, likes, and comments make my day. Um, it is my birthday this month. I am a Scorpio. I have a lot of Sagittarius as well. So if you guys would hit that subscribe button as a birthday present to me, I would so, so appreciate that, as well as the like button. Smash it. Ruin that like button so that this video gets out there, um, as I think these messages can be healing for many. So um, your comments always make my day as well. I love feedback because it helps me uh, keep the readings, you know, um, good and improving. So likes, comments, subscriptions, so, so helpful. And if you wanted to go further, my Patreon page will have the extended as well as all your other extended readings. Um, I also have a new ebook called Moon Symbols. It's all below. We'll be talking soon, Sages. Much love. Bye.